Tony D and Little Joan just off camera, and this is a screenwriter's rant for Kane, a uh, odd gangster movie about a gangster who apparently has a multiple personality disorder. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. It's a weird premise, because like normally when you do the whole schizophrenic guy or the guy with multiple personalities, one personality's good and the other's evil. This one, it looks like they're both evil. So like, how can you tell the difference? Like, one guy is a mob boss of some kind. That's this guy. And then the other personality is this killer. I'm not sure if he's an avenging angel type personality or what. It's called Kane. I assume that's the name of the other personality because the name of the gangster is Abe. But it's kind of a weird premise. Like that a gangster... Look, if you know anything about gangsters, and I know a lot about gangsters... You can't have a lot of, uh, uh, what you might call it, flaws, let's say, in your, in your, uh, day-to-day -day world, right? A guy who is a gangster has to be together at a certain level and be very shrewd. You can't have a lot of mental problems. People who are schizophrenic often have problems if they're... If they're schizophrenic enough to have two separate personalities where one doesn't know the up, what the other's doing, that's a serious... Like, some people have schizophrenia and it's not that bad. Maybe take drugs or whatever. whatever. And certainly, many of them are not violent at all. But the ones that are have severe handicaps. Now, you could say, well, it's a movie. You know, what are you getting all worked up about? Well, okay, if you're going to do it as a movie, then why not make the two personalities very divergent? Like, have one guy be the gangster and the other guy be a vigilante. Now, that might be the case here, but it doesn't look like he's a vigilante. But maybe. Uh, that would also be weird, but I don't know if it makes a great movie. But first act, uh, there's some voiceover that explains part of it. Thank you. Um... You know, Kane is at a mini mart and he beats the, up these two dudes because, I don't know, I think they're threatening him, but it's not clear. But then it cuts to Abe doing his gangster thing. He's got a family and he's he's a bad dude. And I guess he switches back and forth. At one point, Abe decides to play a guy in chess. The loser dies. And so... And then he turns to the other guy and then kills him. So, like, I, I, I don't know. They're both, they both seem to be monsters. So, he switches back and forth in personalities. Eventually, one discovering the other. And then, I don't know. What, what would be the ending for this? That, that he dies? That one of the personality dies? That he's cured and... All, can go on to be a normal gangster. Like, what is the... I don't understand this movie. So I am confused. I have no idea what the third act is. I, I, I can literally not tell you. Ah! Yeah, that's my feeling on the whole thing. Ah! What is this movie? Ah! Guy with a beard, guy without a beard. And that, that's another thing, too. Like, normally when they do this personality change, as they did it in... Uh, what was the film with McAvoy? I forget the name. Split? I think it was called M. Night Shyamalan. Like part of the fun was to watch McAvoy change, right? He'd have that transformation and, you know, go from being, uh, you know, one personality to the next. That would be fun to see. Here you've got two separate actors and you're going to go back and forth between them. I, I don't know if that's a, as effective a technique. It's a technique. Not exactly sure why you're doing it that way. But let's see if there's a write-up here. There is not. I thought there was. Starring Jeremy Lindsay Taylor and Jack Jake Ryan. 
Jake Ryan. Oh, I'm thinking Jack Ryan from Hunt for Red October. Um, yeah, so would I see this? I would see it because it's a gangster movie. I don't have high hopes for it because I, I just don't see how you could resolve this thing and make it satisfying. And I don't really see who the guy is I'm supposed to be rooting for. You know, I, I guess you're going to make Abe the good guy and his other personality the bad guy, but that's also Abe. <laughs> that is technically also Abe. So there seems to be no good guy in this. So no, who do I root for? I, I, I don't know if I can get behind any of these characters. Do I root for Abe so he can get mentally sound, so he can go on, I don't know, killing people for more gangster reasons? Or do I root for the other personality who I assume is Kane? Oh, gee, I hope he keeps killing people. Like, I, there's no one to root for in this movie. That kind of makes it like, why am I watching this? I, I think you always need a protagonist that people can kind of get behind and kind of relate to. They don't have to be pure. They don't even have to be good. Totally, you can have gangsters who are kind-hearted, ultimately. You've seen Get Shorty and movies like that. But here, I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think so. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan, just off camera. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be at the uh, Mount Laurel Historical Society tonight at 7 p.m. at the Farmer's Hall. Uh, so come on out and see my talk about the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow.